So this is unit nine, primary triads, one, four, and five chords of the Fundamentals of Piano Theory, level one. Um, so the primary triads are going to be your first scale degree triads built on your first scale degree, triads built on your fourth scale degree, and triads built on your fifth scale degree. Um, so it says that the triads built on these first, fourth, and fifth scale degrees, they're called your primary triads. And we're going to label those guys with your no Roman numerals 1, 4, and 5. And uh, remember, we're in major keys, so it is uppercase. Um, so I just realized I don't have a writing utensil. Oh my, here's one, Bringo. So we're going to draw our scales, which I already did because I wanted to save some time, um, making sure that you're adding in your accidentals where needed. And then we're going to draw, um, stack on our triads for our first scale degree, our fourth scale degree, and our fifth scale degree. And then we're going to label them with our Roman numerals. So one, two, three, four, five. That's how we can find each of these notes. You can also color code it if you would like as well, which I will do as we go with my a bucket of color pencils. Okay, so I'm just gonna evenly stack a third on a third. We're not gonna invert anything yet. Just a third on a third. And a third on a third. So I went to my first scale degree. I went to my fourth scale degree. And I went to my fifth scale degree. Uh, now I need to label those with Roman numerals. And I did it with the scale degree so you could see how I was going up the scale. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now I need to label it with Roman numerals. So I have one chord, I have a four chord, and I have a five chord. It's not a five, seven chord yet, because that would imply that I'm going to stack another third on top, which I didn't do. So it's just a triad for right now. Okay, I need to find my one, my first scale degree. One, two, three, four, and my five. And I'm just gonna go ahead, since I have this one, 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 two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five, and one, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm gonna evenly stack those thirds on top. Boom, 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 boom. A boom, a boom. And I labeled my triads. Just know that if it's a space note for the root, the space notes have to be stacked on top. If it's a line note in the root, the line notes have to be stacked on top. And I'm just kind of going down the page. A boo ba de boop, ba doop, ba doop. A boo ba de doop. Oh, but you know what? I have to add in a sharp there because I'm in the key of F sharp major. And there's a sharp. Actually, not there. Not there, actually. Right here. Bass clef. And then D major. I have an F sharp and I have a C sharp. <clears throat> on four and five chord. And then B flat major my one chord and then there's a B flat four chord and five chord okay so that's everything in section one section two says to draw the primary triads for each key provided in the treble and the bass clef so now we can't use our scale as kind of a guide we can cheat back at this so for G major, I'm just going to start on G, B, and D. I'm going to go G, B, and D. Now it says my 
four chords. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Here's my four chord, and it's a C, E, and a G. C, E, a G. C, E, G, and my five chord is D, F sharp, A. D, F sharp, A, and D, F sharp, A. A bada bing, a bada boom. Okay, D major, I have two sharps. And you know what, I'm gonna write my sharp in my key signature, just as a friendly reminder, since we just did key signatures in the last unit. D major, D, F sharp, A, D, F sharp, A, G, B, D, and A, C sharp, E. Those letter lines. Uh, F major, F A C. I'm gonna do it below. I don't feel like doing ledger lines again. <laughs> um, B flat, D F. And C E G. B flat major. B flat and E flat. B flat D F. E flat G B flat. Oops, see. I wrote it in my key signature, so I don't need to write it out now. And stacking on my fifth scale degree, which is F A C. Boop. And C major, which they already did for us, but that's okay. Uh oh. There's business afoot in dog world. Where am I at? F A C. I'm distracted. Okay, so wow, talk about a lot of work for a little bit of outcome, but it's just practice for you getting familiar with writing out your one, your four, and your five chords. That's why it's called a workbook. And that's the end of unit nine. Woohoo! Next, we're going to take those triads and we're going to invert them.